I've been collecting for years. I gravitate towards things I like, but I try to hone in it. You know, I, I think there's like a fine line between like uh, hoarding and collecting. It, it might not even be a line. I like uh, old antique religious things. I like it all. But I collect like uh, the Madonna statues, and that's something that I can kind of say, okay, this is the thing I collect because the genre is so huge. Because I mean, really, I think most collectors will say like that I like so many things. So I think honing in is kind of the key. But uh, you know, I don't go out looking for stuff as much as I used to because I don't, frankly, I don't need that much stuff. But it is fun to look for uh, these particular things whenever we go out. The kids and I usually go out like, you know, once a week and, you know, try to find things. And they have things on their list that they like to find and I have things and, you know, I strap the baby on and we go uh, antique shopping and thrifting. So it's uh, something that we've done forever. So uh, they're, they're very like astute with what it is they want and what they're looking for. Antiquing, uh, we found a, we found some pretty good stuff. Like these days, when I go, I'm not like finding something every single time, and that's okay because uh, it's just nice to kind of look and see what's going on. But uh, we found this really cool, like I think it's like dated 1991 Batman wall lamp, and is very very cool. And that's something that. My husband will love and I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna put it I think right now we just put it in the family room to see like oh look there it is we got it but I think it's home is going to be like in his guitar studio we also found a really massive amazing uh, Beethoven oil painting and I saw it and I was immediately like like I see like this, this thing is like huge and I'm wearing the baby and so I'm like trying to find my big kids I'm, like take this to the counter right now because uh, it was just, it's signed and it, like the signature is very interesting, kind of like 70s style, but um, I love it. And I think I will actually end up putting it over here by the piano. Um, so we've got some, you know, this is kind of the music room of our house. Uh, and let's see, we found a ship in a bottle and I've always wanted one, like always wanted one. And so I was stoked to find that one, and it's a super neat one, but the only trouble is the baby is obsessed with it, so I had to put it kind of high up on a shelf. Um, but super duper cool. We found that a really cool like damper sign, and it's thick, heavy brass. And I think a damper is like a flu, like, you know, for heat, but it's it's an actual like old sign, and so we'll hang that. I think right now it's hanging like, this is a temporary placement, but it's hanging on our fireplace mantle, one of our fireplace mantles. And, you know, we're right now redoing the dining room. And so um, it came, like, I think it's got just paint that's just really old and they're, you know, just, it, it needs some uh, work on the woodwork and such. It had to have a lot of the rotten wood on the exterior of the house replaced. And it was, uh, you know, the columns and there's a lot of like the upper area of the house and for a hot second there, I thought, well, I can paint it because I enjoy painting, but you know, I don't have the scaffolding or, or nor do I have the skill set. 
But even this dining room is a little bit challenging with all the woodwork, but I'm excited to give the old college try, as they say. Do blue green by Farrow and Ball, and I've kind of sampled it around to see how it would look on the different angles. And I'm going to do uh, like their dead flat on the wall part and on the white parts that are sticking out. I'm going to do the same color but with a little bit of a gloss. So it'll be kind of interesting. But the plan is to do the entire room that color, uh, save like window sashes and the uh, French doors. So we'll see. So I go and I empty out <laughs> the dining room. And my husband is like, do we still have those mats? We used to have a gym. I was like, we do actually still have those mats. He's like, well, what we could do, what would be fun to do, is to put those mats down and we can practice jiu-jitsu, you can do your yoga there, and it'll just be big fun. And I was like, well, okay, we can do that temporarily while I'm, because, you know, I mean, I, I said I'm painting the dining room. I, we moved all the furniture out. But it's been at a standstill since then just because we're really busy. And I know like once I get into painting I'm like I've got to put paper down and it's all gonna be a whole thing. And I've got too many other things happening to start that project right this second, but I, I wanted to be ready to start the project. Uh, and so anyway, we got the mats down and everyone is loving it and this man of mine wants to keep it like that. <laughs> and you know I bring cows into this house, I bring goats, I've got plants everywhere and just all my collections everywhere. So for right now, this, our dining room is just like a little bit of a gem. The most lovely light pictures that we just had installed in Los Francis. Anyway, so, <laughs> compromise. <laughs> well, well, this house is very well lived in and we very much appreciate all the space. Uh, but you know, I collect plants. I have my, I have a plant shop, a brick and mortar plant shop, and so naturally there's a lot of plants at the house. What I like to say is, like if someone says, oh, have you grown another plant in the house? I'll say, well, that's actually the shop's plan. I'm just like bringing it here to watch it and make sure it's okay. And <laughs> so some of these plants aren't mine, they're the shops. And when we bought the house, the main selling point for me was the fact that there was a skylight. There's, this house is lovely, but the fact that a house of this age, someone put in a skylight, <sighs> plant, people rejoice. Um, but yeah, I collect like little like religious like Catholic medals, old ones from the 50s. I collect uh, glass jars, <laughs> plants as we said. Um, just, you know, I have some very specific collections. And I get very, very into the collecting of them. I don't think there's a particular style. I just think it's just things that I like. I think people used to say it was like granny style, but I don't really think that that's the case these days. You know, I've got too many kids to have little trash heaps all around, even though I love little trash heaps, but I don't want to be dusting. And we've got like dogs and cats and chinchillas and everything. Um, fish, we keep fish too. But you know, uh, the things where I have like little tchotchkes, I've like tried to like enclose them in areas that are above toddler reach and you know, glass cabinets and things. We have a lot of books and so I put like the baby books on the lower level uh, and like plants are up high. The house is really cool because we have these mantles that are like, I mean, I feel like I'm 5'8", they're like a little bit above my head. And so it's, you know, plants are really good and safe, kind of out of baby reach and dog reach and cow reach or whatever, <laughs> whatever could be hoverboard. <laughs> like they, they're not in danger of getting smashed by hoverboard, which is the thing we also have here. By the way, my name is Holly and I am probably best known for, I uh, have miniature cattle. And I, I am the crazy lady on the internet who brought her cows in the house over winter. <laughs> and I still do if they're like little weaklings, but I've got a time down now where it doesn't happen quite as often. I'm 45 years old, I have three kids, a two year old, a 10 year old, and a 15 year old. We are busy all the time. Um, we have a plant shop and everyone has hobbies. And yeah, one thing people are always gonna talk about is that, yeah, I am 45 and I have an almost two year old. I don't think it's that big a deal, it doesn't feel like a big deal in my family, and I think like, I never really felt like I was that old until I went to the doctor and they were talking about geriatric 
geriatric pregnancies. And I was like, well, all right then. <laughs> uh, we're fixing up a Greek revival home and that's been really fun. And yeah, just there's lots of things. I'm just now getting into uh, outdoor gardening. You know, I've always like admired it, but I've never actually gotten into it. But now, so I went through and planted, and now everything went bananas. So I'm not sure it'll be different next year. <laughs> I think that's, that's what gardeners say, right?